Hi friends, it's Deanna Williston from Our Blooming Catholic Life. And just last night I was in adoration and I took with me a little printout of some beautiful talks by our friend in histori French historian Didier Rance. This talk he gave in Perugia on the 30th of March in 2017 and it was called John Bradburn, Hero of a Mystic Life. And so I am in a little topic called A Mysticism of Participation in the Paschal Mystery of Christ. The touchstone of Christian mysticism is, of course, Christ himself. A mystical experience is an eminent form of the grace of baptism, participating in his salvific mission and paschal mystery. John saw himself mostly as a minstrel, a troubadour, a juggler, a jester, an idiot, a fool, a buffoon for Christ, following the Franciscan and fools for Christ tradition. Moreover, as he entered the Catholic Church on the feast of Christ the King, he felt himself as a herald of the great king, especially with regard to the Jewish people. His Eucharistic devotion is strong and an important dimension of his mystic life with Christ, rewarded by the graces of contemplation, which this poem testifies to. And I am going to read you this poem, and you can find this on, of course, johnbradburnpoems.com. And are you ready for it, folks? Because if you're reading this poem while gazing on the Eucharist, I hope that you have this many blessings as I did. Okay, ready? Ah, love that is fed by gazing long upon that form and face, which in appeal is far more strong than any other's grace. But love made flesh on whom we look seems featurelessly round. Could Jesus possibly have made himself more dimly traced? It gleams, but seems so unarrayed. No head, no limbs, no waist. O Salator's hostia, ineffably disguised. We know exactly who you are. The rest may be surmised. And that poem is called, and I'm going to butcher the pronunciation, I'm sure, Abade, A-U-B-A-D-E. And it was written in 1971, so it was written just before I was born. But the poem speaks to me so much of adoration. I'm going to have to have that one written out on a little prayer card for me um, to take into adoration with me now. And what I would like to do is offer you a little chaplet on the Franciscan Crown Rosary on what came to me after that. So they're going to be little scripture verses that relate to that joy of the Franciscan Crown. And we're just going to start with the prayer before the, the crucifix. And then we're going to jump in and I'll, I'll read the passage for joy. Some of them are very short. Um, there's at least one that I'm going to read that that is very long, but it needs to be long. I'm going to write the passages down in the description below so you can have them ahead of time if you want. I am going to be reading from, I believe it's the 1889 Dewey Rhymes American version. And so after I read the scripture verse, we're going to say one Our Father, one Hail Mary, and one Glory Be, and then we'll move on to the next joy. That's going to be the format. Are you ready, friends? In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Most high and glorious God, bring light to the darkness of my heart. Give me right faith, certain hope, and perfect charity. Lord, give me insight and wisdom, so I may discern your holy and true will. Amen. Friends, the first joy of Mary is the Annunciation. And let us consider also John 6, 35, and in fact, 35 through 59. But we're only going to read 35. And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall not hunger, and he that believeth in me shall never thirst. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not, Lord, into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The second joy of Mary, friends, is the visitation. And can consider the exclamation of Elizabeth, echoed in John 6, 69-70. And Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life, and we have believed and have known that thou art the Christ, the Son of God. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Friends, the third joy of Mary is the birth of Jesus. And I ask you to consider John 14, 18 through 20. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world will see me no more. But you see me because I live, and you shall live. And that day you shall know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, O Lord, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Friends, the fourth joy of Mary is the adoration of the Magi. And I can think of no better way to do this but to reflect on John 17, the entire chapter. These things Jesus spoke, and lifting up his eyes to heaven, he said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy Son, that thy Son may glorify thee, as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he may give eternal life to all whom thou hast given him. Now this is eternal life, that they may know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now glorify thou me, O Father, with thyself, and with the glory which I had before the world was with thee. I have manifested thy name to the men whom thou hast given to me out of the world. Thine they were, and to me thou gavest them, and they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things which thou hast given me are from thee. Because the words which thou gavest me, I have given to them, and they have received them, and have known in every deed that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them whom thou hast given me, because they are thine, and all my things are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am not in the world, and these are in the world, and I come to thee, Holy Father, keep them in thy name whom thou hast given me, that they may be one, as we also are. While I was with them, I kept them in thy name. Those whom thou gavest me I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture may be fulfilled. And now I come to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they may have my joy filled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, as I also am not of the world. I pray not that thou shouldst take them out of the world, but that thou should keep them from evil. They are not of the world, as I also am not of the world. Sanctify them in truth. Thy word is truth. And thou hast sent me into the world. I also have sent them into the world. And for them do I sanctify myself, that they may also be sanctified in truth. And not for them only do I pray, but for them who also through their word shall believe in me, that they may all be one as thou, Father, in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. And the glory which thou hast given me, I have given to them, that they may be one as we also are one. I and them and thou and me, that they may be, per be made perfect in one, and the world may know that thou hast sent me and hast loved them, and thou hast also loved me. Father, I will that where I am, they also whom thou hast given me may be with me, 
that they may see my glory which thou hast given me, because thou hast loved me before the creation of the world. Just, Father, the world hath not known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me. And I have made known thy name to them, and will make it known, that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in them. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, O Lord, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Friends, let us consider Jesus lost in the temple. And we're going to do this by contemplating John 18, 36 through 38. Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would certainly strive that I should not be delivered. But now my kingdom is not from hence. Pilate therefore said to him, Art thou a king then? Jesus answered, Thou sayest I am a king. For this I was born, and for this I came into the world, that I should give testimony to the truth. Everyone that is of the truth hears my voice. Pilate said to him, What is truth? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, O Lord, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Friends, when we consider the sixth joy of Mary, it is Jesus appearing to Mary, his mother, after the resurrection. And let us consider John 20, verses 21 to 22. Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I also send you. When he said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day thy daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, O Lord, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Friends, let us consider the seventh joy of Mary, and that is when Mary ascends up to heaven. Mary is assumed up to heaven and is crowned queen of heaven and earth. Let us consider John 21, 15 through 17. When therefore they had dined, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, thou lovest me more than these? He said to him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest I love thee. He saith to him, Feed my lambs. He said to him again, Simon, son of John, thou lovest me. He said to him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said to him, Feed my lambs. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he had said to him the third time, Thou lovest thou me? And he said to him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. And he said to him, 
feed my sheep. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And friends, as we leave this time together, I again want to end with St. Francis's prayer before the crucifix, which you are probably right now, you could actually be right there before the actual Eucharist in adoration. And so let us pray again as we reflect throughout our day on these beautiful passages from the Gospel of John. Let us pray. Most high and glorious God, bring light to the darkness of my heart. Give me right faith, certain hope, and perfect charity. Lord, give me insight and wisdom so that I may discern your holy and true will. God bless you, friends.